Hey guys. Oh, it's recording. Yeah, it's recording. Hi. Hey guys, what's up? I'm uh, going on the most convenient day to be sick. I am on my third day of a cold and I'm gonna try to test. Um, so we're gonna have a really conservative test day. Karina is gonna be joining us here as a special guest <laughs> for my test day. Um, and we're gonna see what I can do on this fairly rainy day. So I had a comment on Facebook and everyone said I was gonna total 16 and 15 and all this stuff, but I'm, I'm gonna let everyone down today uh, and, and show you that I'm not, really not that strong. And like I said, it's my first test day. So this is six weeks I've done. And uh, let's see where my numbers go. I don't plan on hitting any PRs, but my goal today is just to go nine for nine, essentially. So uh, let's see, maybe I won't get through it and this will be a waste of your 10 minutes of watching the video. But uh, either way, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys. See ya. <laughs> Hit the red button. Hello. <laughs> oh, wait, what red button? Welcome everyone. Uh, today is test day, um, which means I ended a meso cycle. Yay. Do you go crazy for stuff like that? Golf clap. All right. So um, today I'll be showing some rather boring footage, but have some insightful things to say about testing uh, when you do get the testing at the end of your block and uh, essentially I do three attempts uh, of each lift makes a total nine attempts so um, today what did you have what did you have me for my goals Ben and why did you pick the numbers that you picked and uh, basically so just realistic uh, expectations so based off of his training um, you have to always roll with you know how your block is going uh, the worst thing you could potentially do in testing is, and this is what you see a lot of people do in meets and why they bomb out, is, uh, I think this is your first attempt, right? Yeah. And yeah. obviously he smoked it. Uh, really important to note, first attempt should be just like that. Should be, uh, it's a warm-up. The first two attempts are warm-ups. Um, only the last attempt should be a PR. Um, this video is not long enough to fully get into that. But anyway, uh, what you're looking at with testing is going for what you're capable of, not what you want, and a lot of people make that mistake. So how do you, dif that's the tough part, how do I differentiate with that? Because what I wanted to do, I, I ended up totaling everyone t today 1,500, as you'll see, but I wanted to do 17, yeah, right. of course. Yeah. You know? yeah. so, so, how do you, so how does one, who, like most of us who got into this sport, who, who think highly of themselves, even turn that, turn that down in you, that, that response that you say, I want to do the, as, as high as I can and, and possibly miss, versus let me go nine for nine and make sure that I'm having a, a, a good total. Yeah, well, you need to look at it as um, almost in a way of how you deal with your money. Uh, if you bought nine lottery tickets and they were guaranteed wins every time uh, versus buying uh, maybe four buying nine but maybe three of them are wins maybe sometimes you might win but the majority of the time you're going to lose that's really good um so powerlifting is all about a three lift total uh progress is all about making that three lift total increase uh so you need to hit all nine lifts to get the highest total if you miss lifts you're always going to fall short and then people get disappointed it's a double disappointment because now i missed a lift and my total is lower so zero pr for the day yeah. um as you get better it's just like a baseball player or a pitcher like they're not expecting to throw five miles per hour faster you know the more years they play uh, you're, you're taking every little chip away at it and ryan's just starting with this so he's going to make some pretty big jumps but the most important thing is to set the pace right now of hitting nine for nine and making all so with that said so i like a lot of people uh, i posted a video of that squad on instagram and i was saying oh man that was that 545 you you had 40 more pounds warm up um why was it wise of you and i told you near the end good call that i didn't go 100 percent on that squad yeah, that's a, that's probably the most important question that we can address in this video um if you go all out on the first attempt uh, or on the first lift, your squat especially, it's going to drain the other lifts. So leave some in the tank for deadlift where you can actually go for broke. Yeah, you're right. Because I, I, I like, I've never been to a powerlifting meet. And like we saw when we went to uh, Raw Nationals in Denver, that was one thing I did see with a lot of people who are still top level. But they tried to leave nothing on the table. And in actuality, they took more off the table than, than what they actually had. Yeah, sometimes I think that's, that's the role of, and I hate using this term, but I'm going to use it here, of having, I'm just going to say a handler, someone to help you as opposed to coach, um, or just a friend, or being objective with yourself, but that's the biggest problem is, is most people have a really hard time being objective with themselves. Yeah. Um, so for bench here, I was way under um, what I knew I could do 
But for this day, how did you call it spot on? So you're talking about objectivity. Like, I don't know how you knew. You just knew that day. You saw, I even told you, hey, let me jump five pounds. And you looked at me, you're like, trust me, don't do it. And at the end of this lift, I had not a penny left. How, how, how did you sharpen that eye? I mean, what, what was it over time? Is it an energy thing? Can you see? Or do you, I mean, uh, It's a combination of knowing on paper, having your history of your data um, on where you should fall, how you train for, throughout the block. But then the, the most important thing that no textbook or anything else could teach you is watching lifters grind out lifts over time. And, uh, there's the person that I've never been more impressed by watching grind out lifts is, uh, is Dr. Zordos. Um, so he is almost impossible to make calls for because I always tell him don't, and he somehow <laughs> finishes his squats. Um, so some people are harder than others, but typically you can tell um, when someone's getting really, really close and what's a smart call and what's not. Yeah. That's good because that's that's what I've learned and that's what I've seen. It's 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 a lot different, guys. Going and and saying, well, I did one time four years ago. I did four hundred. That that's why I, I I think that idea is important of programming and it's coming back to kind of karmic full circle. It's historical based. So how how do you know where? How can you tell your current strength? Is by collecting your data. So I know a lot of guys and even in the gym I lift at, and they just say I'm going to go heavy today and they pray and hope and wish and wish for the best and see what's going to happen i used to do that too admittedly and that's why i can say it what happened to me was i essentially went in and i would have a bad day and i would have a bad week not understanding why because i didn't understand where i was at it, I, naturally in my strength and what my fatigue for that week and i was just hoping for the best so um, yeah guys these are i sorry i missed the first one that was just my second pull so this is going to be my third pull here um, so any last bit of advice for people on their test day um, or, or anyone going through any type of training block and i um, going to try to get some, I don't even know if I want to use the word PRs, I, I would say just a nine for nine. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is be confident. Uh, the training's already done. At this point, you, should, you shouldn't freak yourself out. Uh, and a lot of people have that issue of getting super psyched out and letting the weight freak them out before they even try the lift. I mean, you have to go in confident that your job has been done and you just need to go follow through and, and take care of it. But the biggest thing is you need to have it done in your head before you do it physically. Absolutely. All right, guys, so thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, enjoy this last lift here. Um, guys, let me know, comments, things like that. Um, ben and I will also be posting more videos on the De Novo channel. Um, so these are just my lifting videos, but uh, check out our videos there. I'll post the link in the description as well. Um, if you have any questions, uh, like I said, leave them in the comments, and if it's a, it's a top comment, I, I usually try my best to get to it. Um, if you want to contact any of us um, in terms of getting training uh, from Zordos Ben, all right, we have our contact information there too. So um, thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. Uh, I want to tell people bye. Later, guys. Until next time, more DUP videos. The, the DUP videos. The DUP. All right. Thank you, guys. Yes, 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 finish it out. Lock up top. That's it. 1500. Those, those little, the little change plates, I added them so you hit 1500. Woo! I know it's Woo! Yeah. Uh.